It might seem like a cop-out, a no-brainer, but one of the easiest ways to add some mental math to any board game is in the scoring. In this video, I'm going to show you four ways we encourage mental math when playing tabletop games. I'm Leanne and I have taught kids for over 20 years. I help parents have fun while they teach the kids the skills that they need. So if this is something you're interested in, make sure to subscribe. Now, the easiest way to start is to use the learning abacus. We let the kids rely on this learning manipulative because as they do so, they are actually working with and looking at how the quantities are regrouped based on the number of the beads. Now that is a mental math strategy when you can look at it and understand that five and three is eight. If you're a bit older or working on a bit higher level math, we do this on the reverse side of the learning abacus to keep track of our miles when playing Melbourne's, for example. You must try it. Mm -hmm. All right. The second way is to use tally marks. Every time you add a point, you add a mark. You don't need to use tallies at the start, even if you're going to use the next method that I will share. You can just make line markings. Alternatively, you could use actual tallies. This helps to visually group the points into fives. One of the games that we do a lot of this is Quirkle. Each time we add a piece, we mark that point and then at the end, we count up the tallies. The third way is during scoring, to group them together in twos, fives or tens, whichever seems better at that time and count them along in those groups. This way you're encouraging skip counting, grouping and not counting on. At this time, we regularly do this for counting points with 20, sleeping queens. 15, 5, 20. Is 80. But early on, when our kids were younger, we would just count the number of queens in twos Two. or in fives as we collected them. Four, six, seven. If you want to find out how we use some of the games we have mentioned, make sure to check them out at the end of the video or in one of the links below. Now, scoring is another sneaky way to add mental math by writing down the score at the end of their turn, not game. For example, in this round, I score 24 points. In my next round, I score eight, and so on. But instead of waiting to the end of the game to add up all my scores, I add on my scores at the end of my turn. Instead of writing 24 at 8, I use regrouping and mental math strategies to add 6 so that 24 becomes 30, which leaves 2. And then write down 32 on the next line. Lately, we've used this scoring method a lot when playing Zeus on the loose to keep track of what number Mount Olympus is at. I hope this gives you some ideas of different ways to keep score that can help with using mental math strategies. If you did, don't forget to click the like button. And I can't wait to see you in a future one. Yay!